Hello everyone, welcome to Ikita platform and this is Ravind Changit here, your electrical faculty and in this video I am going to talk about the filter configurations. So what are the different of filter configurations are actually being used in the power systems or you can say the system lines for the HVDC. So we'll start with the HVDC configurations and which are listed here the sum of the points. So I have included the most important points which are to be studied and which are to be known by you. It is defined as the converter configuration define the generates the characteristic harmonics of the order 11, 13, 23, 25 and in case of the 12 plus bills as we have studied in the harmonics also. So it is, uh, it is saying that uh, the converter configuration is defined as generates a characteristic so who generates or which generates the characteristic harmonics of order 11, 13, 23 and 25 in the 12 plus bridges are called your uh, are called your filter configurations or converter configurations called. Not the filter, these are called the converter configurations. So generally filters are used to drain these harmonics. So if I talk about the filter configuration, so these uh, filters are actually designed in such a way so that they can drain or you can say that they filter out these harmonic uh, or characteristic harmonics uh, uh, from the systems okay now or you can say the suppress them for 11th and 13th harmonic for 11th and 13th harmonic we generally use the tuned filters and if we talk about the higher order harmonics one second if we uh, talk about the higher order harmonics then uh, then it is called that uh, the damped high pass filters now the filters in HVDC, if we talk about the filters in HVDC, then absorb the harmonics, but also provide the VAR support for the converters. It is going to say that if we are using the HVDC filters, the filters designing for the HVDC are kind of the innovated and uh, modern technology based. So if we use in the converters, then what happens? They absorb the harmonics. Not only they absorb the harmonics, also provide the VAR support to the con con converters. So it is doing the two ways, absorbing the harmonics and also providing the VAR support for the converters. So it is kind of uh, your uh, the benefit of using the filters in HVDs. So let's talk about the various types of the filters. If I talk about the various types of filters, these are defined here and which are the three types. The first will I talk about that is a single tuned and uh, related points are uh, listed in the next slides also. This is the single tuned filter. What is that single tuned filter? Second is the your doubled tuned filters and the third is your uh, HPF that is a high pass filter. We had the low pass, bypass and high pass and band pass filter. So it is kind of the high pass we are using and the high pass filter is kind of the first is kind of the second order second it may be a C type. So high pass, high pass filter will have the second order and the C type configurations also. So these are the types of the filters. Let's move for the other one. So this is uh, the basic you can say the configurations or basic designing of these filters and the corresponding curves and characteristic uh, curves is uh, provided here also. So if we talk about the single tuned, single tuned filter, if we talk about the single tuned filter, it is having the capacitor, inductor and the resistor circuit. So in, it is uh, like that and we generally use in the AC and the DC, uh, you can the DC lines generally use. It is having if we draw the if we draw the waveforms then it is kind of like that and uh, this is the impedance this is axis is the impedance this axis is a frequency and we draw when we draw this then it is going to be uh, like a V curve. Now if we talk about the doubled tuned and doubled tuned then it is kind of uh, the capacitor inductor and resistor and along with that there will be a two branches and that having the capacitor resistance cap inductor resistance combination. So this is called the double tuned. These are the basic configurations you have to use every time if you talk about the uh, you can say the filter configurations. If you talk about its waveforms, its waveform is kind of like that. It's a double weak type or that's why double tuned filters these are called. Now, 
If I talk about the third one, that is the second order high pass filter. That is the second order high pass filter. And that is how capacitor and the inductor and resistor here are connected in parallel. And whereas the uh, high pass C type, if we talk, then the same capacitor is connected on the node. But here, inductor along with the inductor, there is a capacitor is also connected. And ultimately, they are in the parallel connection. So this is a kind of your fourth configurations. So this is, uh, it's a waveform. If I talk about this waveform, it is kind of a dip here. And this is a Z minimum here. It is a Z minimum here. This is a frequency and the rest is same. And its ultimate value ends or terminates at the value of R. So this is the basic designing of your filters. Please remember this configuration because this will be beneficial while writing your exams. So please remember this. And these are your uh, single tuned series resonance filter. This is the series uh, capacitor, inductor and resistor are connected. Then it may be a chances of the uh, resonance conditions. Then double tuned filter. It is the same configuration where, which we have used. And this is the high pass filter configuration. So these are the basic designing uh, we are actually using. So let's move for other important points. Now. If we talk about the single tuned filter, if we talk about the single tuned filter, these are designed to filter out the characteristic harmonics of the single frequency. So I can say we had a characteristic and non-characteristic harmonics. So these are actually basically decided or designed to filter out the characteristic harmonics having the single frequency, having the single frequency. Now, if you talk about the double tuned filter, if you talk about the double tuned filter, then these are designed to filter out the two discrete frequency instead of using the two tuned filters. So I can say uh, double if you double tuned, so double tuned filter is a kind of uh, your advantage. Otherwise, you have to use the two different single tuned filters for that. So what is the actually advantages of uh, using the uh, double tuned filter? Only one inductor is uh, subject to the full line impulse voltage. So whenever we have the full full line impulse voltage we have, then at that time only the one inductor is sufficient to operate that. Now, if you talk about the power loss, uh, fundamental frequency is considerably reduced. So power loss fundamental frequency, okay, that is considerably reduced here. Now, if I talk about the high pass filter, that uh, high pass filter having the two configurations second order c type so we are starting with the second order so what is the second order it will filter out the higher harmonics so it, it is actually having the uh, you can say the uh, cutoff frequency and that cutoff frequency above the cutoff frequency it will filter out uh, the uh, filter out the frequencies unwanted frequencies so filter out the higher harmonics and the tuned of these filters is uh, not critical that we have to remember here. Now, if you talk about the high, uh, high pass filter for the C type configurations, uh, it, uh, it had this uh, second order configuration. We generally use this. This is a kind of new one. So C type minimize the, minimizes the losses at the fundamental frequency. Sometimes uh, due to the fundamental frequency, we are having the losses and these losses should be actually reduced and uh, this filter along with filtering out the frequency, it is also doing the minimizing the fundamental frequency or suppresses the amplitude of that. Now, as uh, how it does as like containing the C2 in the series with the L. This is the configurations for the C type. This is the C2 and along with the C2 there is because the, look at here. This is inductor here and it is also the inductor here. Same configuration but the another capacitor C2 is added here. So this is uh, this point if I talk about the C type this is actually done as like containing the C2 in series with the L and which offers the low impedance because whenever the inductor and you can say the capacitors are connected in series there will be a reactance is to be reduced okay and the power capability will be enhanced to fundamental frequency now if i talk about the high pass filter advantages so what are the advantages is going to be first 
no sharp tuning is required there is no sharp tuning required because for tuning at a sharp value because after the cutoff frequency it should be operated uh, instantaneously but there there is no sharp tuning is required for that it can also tolerate the large steady state frequency variations if there is a large steady state frequency variations in your system it can tolerate and all you know, irrespective of the filtering out it can also tolerate or you can say it is a kind of uh, uh, your protective system it is also doing a protection also it reduces the large transient voltages it reduces the large transient voltages so i hope you have understood all the configurations related with this topic so tata bye bye and thank you